Hey, hey everybody and welcome back to this October budget results video. So I hope everyone had a fantastic October. Um, I had a pretty good birthday. I had, we celebrated Halloween. We had a lot of fun. It was a very good month for us. So I want to show y'all the end of the month for us because we ended up checking in. The last time was like the 23rd. So this last week here, from the 24th to the 28th, we did not spend any money here. On the 29th, we stopped and picked up something at Walmart for $10. We paid the car and student loans on the 30th here, which was our second payment for the month for the car. And then everything else that was left in our envelopes all went towards the Mazda, which gave us that 733 amount here. We added it in. I just didn't have room to put all these there, you know? So we had 60 remaining out of our groceries that we put in there, three from gas, 40 from miscellaneous because we never touched it. So all of that money we took out of our envelopes and used towards a extra on the debt payment here, which was fabulous. So we made a total of $733 on our car payment, which is amazing because that is a whole month in just two weeks. Because when we paid it here, we took everything out and that was on the 14th, so that was two paychecks and the extra money that we had from here. So that's really fabulous. Our next car payment is technically not due until February, which is amazing. Our car is about to hit 11,000. I'm super excited for, I cannot wait. We are like a little bit over 12,000, 12, so, so close to getting it underneath that. Our next goal will be to hit 10,000 and just keep on booking it down and getting that car paid off. But let's go ahead and check in and close out our budget with this here. So we are going to do our income amounts. And I've already went in and wrote down the totals here and here for all of our things. So James's income for October's income was $3,999.44. So $3.99. Forty-four. Um, I was able to bring in 44, which was almost close to what I had put down for this month, which was 50 because I knew I was going to try to bring something in. And then for other, we had $20 come in this month, which is fabulous, which gives us a grand total of $4,063.44. That is amazing. Like, we planned nothing for other. We had 20 plus. We planned 50 for mine, and I was only $6 short of that. We planned 38.75, and his check was 39.99 and 44 cents for the whole month, which is fabulous. And this was with us budgeting, like I think it was seven, seven fifty times or seven seventy five times five. So each check of average seven seventy five, if you put them all together and averaged it out, is what we started with. Um, which is fabulous. So for our actual, for the Mazda, let's look at it. So we paid over here, we paid a total of 380 plus our other payment here of 733. So this month we were able to put $1,113 for just our car, which is amazing I love that we were able to put that much to it and get it ahead because a lot of this went towards nothing but principal which is awesome because you want to get your principal down so your interest isn't building on top of that principal that's sitting there fabulous all right so let's check off those all right next up we have our power here and this month our power ended up being only 168.91 168.91, which means it was under. So the rest of this here all went into our utilities envelope in the back of here. So when a bill is higher, I can pull from here and not any savings. And I do keep track of what's in there. So if I use it, we know. Water, 
Let's see, how much was water? Water was $75.34, so this one was also under by about $4. And that money also went into that utilities envelope. Student loans. We ended up paying a total of $78 on student loans. And our normal payment is only $57. So that is amazing. All that went towards principal because there's still no interest on any of my student loans right now. For groceries, we maxed out. We didn't spend all of it on groceries. We did take the last, how much? We took the last $60 and put it towards debt, which is fine. We just want to make sure we track it that we spent it. Gas, we completed. We took the last $3 remaining from that and put it in debt. My spending and my husband's spending, gone all the way, 100% gone. Miscellaneous, this was only 40. I should have changed that at the beginning of the month. So we only had 40 the whole month, right? Yeah, so only 40 and we ended up spending that and that was just because we went ahead and put it with our debt because this month was debt, dedicated month and next month we'll do savings. All right, so for our total amount in savings, we pulled out 162, fabulous. And this is just going into our emergency savings to help keep building that up. And then sinking funds is our little miniature savings for different events and things that are coming up in the future that we need to have some set aside for. So that is 420. All right. And then unbudgeted, we did have an unbudgeted and it was for my husband's tires. We had to go and end up buying him tires and we bought four for like $25 each at a hundred. Um, I didn't have enough in our car maintenance and I knew I was getting an oil change done this week. So I needed to make sure I still had money in sinking funds. So I used just our emergency savings because it was kind of last minute. His tire blew and we needed to replace all of them because we realized they're all bald and I've been driving it and don't want to have an accident early in the morning when he's still asleep. So that is definitely a must had emergency kind of thing. And hopefully we won't need to use that anymore. And then this month we were able to put in 90 for our cushion, which is fabulous. <sighs> Let's see. All of these cleared the exact amounts over here. All of those are done. All right. So that is what our budget is. We're going to flip back here to our sinking funds. And I need to put on the 31st, we used holiday. Um, what did we get? What was it? Cost, oh, I picked up some a costume pieces. So I had something to wear at work for the club, more like it. And it was, So I spent $17. That's what it was. Okay. So here we're going to do how much we spent, add it up here, subtract anything out there, and then our ending. So for anniversary, we added $10. For birthday, we added $85. For car maintenance, we added $40. $40. Car tags, we didn't add anything. Christmas got 65. Dance, we didn't add anything. For gifts, we have 40 added. For holiday, we added 20. For medical, we added 30. For school, we added 60. And then for clothing, which is wrote down here, we added $70 to that. All right, and now for how much we spent out of all of these. So 
we ended up not going on our anniversary in October. We ended up going on the 1st of November. So that will be, um, I've pretty much had all this closed out except this one here. Um, but I already knew all the numbers. So y'all will see the anniversary been used in November. So we didn't use anything for our anniversary. Let's see. Card tags. We didn't use anything. I used Christmas dance. We didn't use anything. We did gifts, holiday. We had medical and school. Okay. So for birthdays, we had one, two, two transactions. So we ended up spending one seventy-three from birthdays. Car maintenance. All right, car maintenance, we spent 25 here. All right, for Christmas, I did pick up a present, which was $40. All right, for gifts, we had a birthday party come up and we spent $10. All right, next up we have holiday and we spent 17. Medical, we spent 20. School, we spent 25. And then clothing, we ended up spending 60. All right. So our new balances, our ending balances was 107 for anniversary. All right, let's see. All right, let's see if we can get through this before it dies. 174 plus 85 minus 173. So we had 86 remaining for birthdays, car maintenance, we had 69 plus 40 minus 25, so 84, and hopefully that will cover my oil change and probably a filter, because I know my filter needs to be changed. Car tax hasn't changed, it's still at 10. Christmas plus 65 minus 40, so we're at 562 still on Christmas, which is plenty, because we are ahead of the game on that. 126 in dance because we didn't use anything. We had 60 minus 10, so $50 remaining in gifts. For holiday, we had 90 plus 20 minus 17, so 93. Okay. And then for medical, we had started with 60 plus the 30 minus 20. Oh. So we should have 70 remaining. For school, we started with 30, added 60, and subtracted 25 for a yearbook. So we should still have 65 remaining in school. And then clothing, we should have $10 to start us for our November's sinking funds. All right, so those are ending numbers. All right, so now we're gonna flip back to the front of our October budget where we have our debt tracker here. We are gonna go ahead and fill this in. We paid $1,113 on our Mazda. Our ending balance now is twelve thousand two hundred seventy four dollars and thirty four cent which is amazing i'm loving it i cannot wait to see how long it takes us to get this paid off with throwing every extra amount that we can student loans we ended up paying 78 dollars fabulous which now our new balance for that is eleven thousand eight hundred 
and 6, 93, which is going to be hilarious when this car drops lower than the student loans. I will, I will be so grateful to see that number drop below there. So for medical, we don't have any payment plan set up to pay any of that yet. So after we get our car paid off, hopefully we can throw some towards the medical, start working on that as well as student loans at the same time. So that means we still have the 4,111 until we get that figured out on why the insurance didn't cover any of it. And then I'm going to leave these two blank here. I have to wait and check on James's credit to find out if these have been showing back up. Because when I checked them the other day, neither one of them showed. Uh, I'm leaving these blank for right now. And then when I finally am able to sit down with him and look over all of our finances, I can look and see if these are still showing. And if they are, we can put them in here. And if they're not, we're going to take these out. But that is our debt. I don't want to write in a total until we get these two looked at to see if they're showing back on its credit or if they have fallen. Let's completely. count our no spends. So my goal for this month was to have one more than September. So that would have been 16 for October. Let's see if we did it. So we're going to set that to the side. All right. So we're going to start down here. We have one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And here and here we only paid bills. So that is amazing. We had 18, no spends. Wow, I'm shocked because there was 31 days. That means we barely spent any money. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Um, hopefully we can do the same for November. We have already kind of how to pick up quite a few things in November. So hopefully we can keep up with our no spends. So the goal for November is definitely going to be to hit 17 no spend days if possible. If not, we'll say 15 as a minimum. 17 is what we really want to hit and I'm going to strive to do it. But this is our budget recap. We had a fabulous month. I hope that y'all did too. Our numbers were more than what we expected for his income, for other income that we had. Our bills were lower than we expected, which is always a blessing. We got to pay extra towards our debt that we are working on tackling. Nothing was really over budget except for having to purchase James some tires. Um, but we did really well. We had, let's see, $582 that was in some kind of savings over here. I love it. November is going to be our savings month. So whatever's left over from our categories and our sinking funds or our leftover in our cash envelopes will be going towards our sinking funds to help build those up for November. And then back in December, we will do another debt month. So any money left over in groceries, I'm gonna try for a certain amount. I'm gonna set a goal for that month and strive to have that met. That way we can throw all that towards the Mazda and get it paid down even quicker. I am super excited and I cannot wait to catch y'all in the next video. And I hope y'all have a, a wonderful day and week. Bye-bye now.